Good day. Welcome to Multinet Design. So we are starting another project in Revit 2024. So we are going to be using this particular to create a new uh, project entirely. And the project we are creating here is tied to Burj Mini Filler. So Burj Mini Filler is like this. So it's a is a design that is being anticipated or being proposed to design in Kuwait. So you are prefer to follow this one after the other how the design in the eastern world is being is being created and why and some of these components are being associated with this so we are going to express all these things in detail one after the other so i enjoy you to follow through as we are participating in this particular file so here we are in the level 2024 so what we do here is i'm going to do i want to work on a on a normal brighter mode which is white mode so i'm changing the color so the color is going to be changed and I'm changing it to normal light color. So now we are in the normal system of... So what we do here is that we're starting. So the, the reason why this one is more different is that we're going to start with grid, which is a normal thing that we do in the Arab world because they are very much concentrated on what... On a, so I'm drawing the grid here now. So this is the grid line one. Then the second grid line then the third grid so at the same time we anticipate the horizontal grid so we'll change this name we name this one to here so we'll let it be capital letter a so the same thing say click similar so continue like that and process itself b c so you can leave it to this point so depending the time that design is going to be accurately organized so from here now we have this is zero then you check the distance within this one so you change these things because they are much larger than necessary so what we do now we adjust them and put them in place so the the, the relative uh, distance between grid line one and grid line two according to our design should be 300 and i mean 3600 so the second one should be 6400 so everything together should be measured up to like 10 meter or so so if there's any other adjustments we are going to be doing that in consistency of our design process but this design is a very important one because this actual house is going to be built in an estate is the pattern in which they follow so here now we have this one i'll call it at 4000 of grid so the same thing we release this one to 4,000 as well of grid. So now we need to now string everything together so that they be in position where they need to be. To be. So we string them together like this. So you do the same thing here as well. And you do the same thing as well. So this is one of the organized designs. So if you are joining us for the first time, so thanks for those who have been with us from the beginning. So we appreciate you. So if you are here for the first time, the best thing for you to do is to subscribe. So continue and set, same time like, and most especially always watch our video consistently. We bring out the real project into limelight. So we do here and say select the word generic, which is normal word. So edit this type and see what you have here. So you have word to do five, so you do the same thing here again to do five. That's now it is war. You can change the material for now, but just leave it. We are going to work on that in a self-section design process. So we have that. So what we do now, we want to be creating the whole uh, functional space one after the other. So we are drawing this. This is the war, initiate war. So we do this one and give this a regular design formation. Good. So optimize them by joining them together so a lot of tricks you are going to learn by following this channel and we are going to expose them one after the other especially if you are a student of architect you have nothing to fear again in this design because and at the same time i always tell you always present your request and let us know what we'll do one after the other so that we'll be able to teach you now you do another one then you create this one in space pure so we continue the process by creating another one here so what else do we need to create so leave the grid for now so until we are able to so i'm going to have 
make sure that the shadow is no more reflecting again because it will be really confusing me so this is where you talk about the shadow and you continue your work perfectly so this is the anti uh, we are going to pour this one in a certain space we pour this one another certain space but this one is going to be like a anti room for me so this one is going to be a living room so the pattern of the living room i want it to have something of a little bit recess outward so while i continue by joining this together and fitting so you put this in space then you do the same thing here as well so this one is gone and give it its very best moment so i'm going to draw this one join it together this is the Atlas living room so i'm going i'm giving this one a moment of what call it together that is the ante room living room is simple like a toilet so i'm getting something here for like a bar and things like that so i've created the aspects in consequential pattern so what i need to do next is that to put something here and i'm going to do the measurements by following the process of reality so this here and say to 2100 so that way at this point i'm going to have something here in space so i'm going to Atomize this piece as a place of what of tear. So that is the way the design process is going. The idea comes and it flows along the line. So what does the unit do? We have already created that. So what you need to do have now is to have your kitchen into a place that you needed. So the kitchen is going to be somewhere here as well. So this is the kitchen uh, proper site. So as the kitchen is being there now. What I need to do, that kitchen is too big, so I'm going to divide this one into two. So at this side, I'm going to have a laundry at this edge. So the laundry is going to be exposed to one side, I'm going to expose it inside. So at the ground floor, you're going to have a, we call it a maid room, which is going to be somewhere here. So for that purpose, so somebody who is going to be a servant of this house is going to be using, so because of the surface area of this, so it's going to have access before everybody wake up, it's going to, that's with the client's requirement, and that is what we are working on eventually. So this is the eventual made room, and then after that one, then we can have a store, something storage, that is just a little bit good for that edge. So we can bring this, we bring this one a little bit again. Good. So now we express this in totality by giving it what it needed. So this one we are going to divide it into two by clicking the compensate this with this. So that's how for certain things in the good. So one next. So we have done this one the mid aspect which is going to be here so closing this place for again yeah, this is the so we're having this in that position so you can just like expand this a bit to so 1000 trip so you do this to like what well, this is 1002 good so we have this in place so and this is the coordination of the whole building and align with together with the what we want to do so the dining and the the dining together with the bar and everything are like opening center stage so like this one we have in it here so the only thing that we're going to do here is that we are going to step it up and step it up so we are going to reflect everything in detail one after the other so i first enjoy you to follow through and after so let us just compensate it by putting a detail line on that spot area so this is the wine bar the wine bar then the the other side of it which is the the dining is going to start from this grid point so you delete this one to separate them together so this is it so we're going to create our assistant this is the proper arrangement of what we are doing on the ground floor because now you look at it from this particular building you're going to see that we have two floors here ground floor first floor and second floor so that's what we do so the whole process is going to follow 
one after the other. So the compensating aspect is here has been dedicated and the next thing we need to do is to focus our attention on how to beautify the whole process. So what we do here now, I'm going to create floor here now, say that is the architectural floor, then you draw your your the whole things around this particular just pure rectangle and that is what we didn't need. So as we done with this, you click finish and that is your floor in place you can now edit it to align those where supposed to be aligned to the external part of the wall so this face is going to be there so i click finish so if i check this i see that okay there's an issue here you expand this one by 1200 so that we're able to have enough uh, so we click here and check the dimension so the dimension can be left for you that you, have, you want to be participating immediately after for that before we move to the dimension of the whole thing so you can just check it out follow this process and continue to draw accordingly so that is what is for you for mainly for you student who is learning Revit properly so you can learn through this process dimension why the house is not going to be bogus why it's going to have a fit and things like that need to be done and need to be taking care of when you ever you are doing this side. so this is the this is the entrance porch and things like that so steer or in concentration the bar and its uses so that is what we do here so all these the dimensions are most important for you the remaining one you can deduce them by using whatsoever channel of analysis that you want to use and get it right so for this, I've done this one now. So the next thing is that we're going to put some certain opening. So let's quickly introduce an opening to this by clicking here. So I'm going to give it door. So that select the door, check the door that's the entrance door, especially. So this door we are still going to work on it, but let's just put this one to start from its so entrance at the same time the double entrance to this place. So change this one now by clicking on the normal one of this. So there, start putting it where it's supposed to be. So the entrance to stair, or so another entrance to the lobby, entire lobby, and some certain things that are going to be done in here. And then we have access to kitchen at the edge areas. So the next one is that we put an entrance to this place. Then we create an entrance here and put an entrance here so that is the beauty of what you have done then another uh, exit outside so this far this association compensates the whole idea of what we are want to design so from this now you can see we have done what we need to do so the next aspect of what we're going to work on is to click on window and put them in place but before then let us introduce the uh, what is it called the the annotate by putting all those space and let everybody wish you know understand what the space is functioning for before we later do. So here is going to be living room. So room pure. So this one is going to be anti room. Pure. So the next one aspect is going to be bar. I call it wine bar. So wine bar is going to be here. Then this one is separate to be dining for you. So that is some subjected to change because I have said before, in my design, I don't work plagiarism. So where somebody will tell me that okay, this is my design and something like that. So I work on basically. So this one is going to be kitchen. Sometimes I change the whole system. So but what you just need to do is to follow because the function is still going to work effectively. So we call this made room. And what else do we need to do? So this one has been done. So you call this tier or sorry, I want to use this tier, this size tier or so tier or at this point. So this one is going to be meant for something, something good and something effective. So we're done with this, and the remaining one we are going to be working on them accordingly. So. I enjoy you to continue following this one after the other because this is the beginning 
and this is the great thing that we have done so so thanks for watching